Um, thank you for your attendance. I'm glad you're all here. First of all, before I say anything, I just want to remind everybody, if you notice the red, it's the American Heart Association Go Red for Women Day. So please be aware. Please contribute if you can, whatever you can do. Great cause, and it's really important. Number one killer, okay? So be aware. Do something. Thank you. Uh, my job today is to tie this all together. All right. We've sat here, we've listened, we've started at the beginning, we've <coughs> talked about planning, we've talked about the materials that you need to bring, great display ideas, great giveaway ideas. So now you're at the show. You've done your planning. What are we going to do when we get there? Well, before the show, like I said, we're going to do some planning. Right? You know, how do you know if you've achieved what you set out to do if you haven't planned? How do you know if you've arrived if you don't know what the destination is? Research your audience. Right? I'm assuming that because we're all here, we all know that the Business Council is a great avenue for our business. So we want to make sure when we go to a trade show, is it appropriate for us? Is the, are these the people we want to be talking to? Make sure your table, skirt, and banner are clean. Now I know that sounds like, huh, pretty elementary. Who's going to go someplace with something dirty? You'd be surprised. I have gone to many, many shows and there are coffee stains, and there are crumbs, and people walk by and say, okay, I'm not going to work with these people because they don't look professional. If you are professional, you've got to project that image. You are what you sell, right? People need to know you, like you, and trust you for them to do business with you. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are presenting the professional image, and that starts with what you have and how your area looks. You want to set objectives, again. How do you know that you've achieved it? How do you know this show, this show worked for you? Any show, you have to know. Look at your space. Mark talked a lot about what the space is going to be. Okay? We know we've got a six foot space. You have to plan accordingly. There is nothing worse and there is nothing that sets off your partners that are to the right and left of you and behind you when you're over your space. Okay? Because we're all there trying to do the same thing. We want to make sure that we're respectful, and you also don't want to be overwhelming, because that becomes very intimidating. Assigning responsibilities. How many of you are going to the show with a team? Okay. Have you deci decided and have you assigned the responsibilities, or is everybody going to be doing the same thing? All right. Very often you get to a show and people are scrambling. I'm talking to this one, I'm talking to this one. The worst thing you can do is have people converging on the one person that's standing there. You want to make sure everybody is aware of what's happening and what their responsibility is. And you want to plan your pre-show promotion. Mark talked about it. Um, Mike talked about it. What are you going to do to bring people in? The Business Council is helping you, but ultimately it's your responsibility to make sure that everything that we do pays off for your own personal business. At the show. All right, this is a great display, okay? It's beautiful. You can go as upscale, low scale as you want. What are some of the other things that you can do? Well, I'm sorry. Economical. Sorry, 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 sorry. Mine is going to be, here's some low scale tips. If you do not have a backdrop, you want to have some visual interest. When you bring your boxes and you're carrying all your material in, take those boxes. You can put them right underneath the table skirt to have your table have varying heights. All right? Something easy, something economical that you can also do and then plan for next year to make sure that you talk to Mark and get this stuff. <laughs> All right? But that's an easy way to bring some visual interest and you want to make sure that people have a reason to come on over to your, your table. Don't display everything at once. All right? There's nothing worse than looking at a table and going, Ugh, they've got so much stuff here. They will of course the ultimate goal is to sell people, right? That's what we're all here for. The ultimate goal is to make appointments and to have people you can talk to to expand your business. You don't want to overwhelm them by throwing the kitchen sink on the table. You want it to be visually appealing and clean and crisp so that people come over to talk to you. Somebody asked before about sitting behind the display or standing up. Don't sit behind the table, all right? That is number one trade show etiquette. Okay, I've done many trade shows for many years. I've been in marketing for a long time. It is so intimidating to people to walk over to your table when you're sitting there. First of all, when you're sitting there, you look bored. Okay? If you're bored, 
Why does anybody want to come over and talk to you? All right? So you want to project energy, and the way you project energy is be, be standing up, be in front of your display. Make sure you're easy and accessible that you can engage people. Don't sit down. <coughs> Network with the other vendors. So often I go to trade shows or business council events in the morning, and I hate when I hear people say to me, it was a bust, I didn't sell anybody, or I, I wasn't able to sell anybody at my table. It's not the point when you do these things. Everybody in this room is a potential prospect, yes, but everybody in this room is an opportunity to build a relationship. And by building relationships, that's how you start to expand your business. Okay, so everybody in here can help everybody else because we've all got clients, we've all got prospects, we all have people to talk to. So that's how you build your relationships, that's how you work with your fellow vendors. All right? So don't look at your vendors and say, oh, I'm not going to talk to him because he doesn't need my stuff. Do you know what his client base is? Make sure you maximize and make sure you talk to everybody. Be accessible. Don't be a space hog. We talked about that already. I'm not going to go into it. But there's nothing more off-putting than when you've got your stuff encroaching. I went to a show and we all had our six-foot space and the person next to me came with videos and backdrops and all of a sudden my space was this big and I had to go to the show organizer and say could you please speak to them and ask them to move their stuff over you don't want to do that but we're all paying the same money you want to be courteous look at the other exhibits all of us take the time do you all walk the show when you go okay do you take the time to stop and talk to other people do you take notice of what they're doing that's new and fresh I do all the time. I love to look at everybody else's stuff so I can say, hmm, I'm going to steal that for the next show. So make sure you take the time to take a look at what everybody else is doing.